<laughs> Let's play this footage right here. A lot this week, they tried to call me a man all week, said I had a dick all fucking week. Like, I'm not a whole mother. That shit hurt. And then they go to fucking leave me off of this billboard. They go to leave me off of the fucking billboard. And my billboard, the way God works about me, my timing, God put my billboard right after that. I'm really glad I wasn't house C. Fuck house A and house B. I'm house C. Now that, now that's DJ... This DJ, DJ Sky, Scott, uh, yeah. That woman don't look nothing like a man. She looks nothing like a man. She has no form of looking anything like a man. But so there's a lot of transgender women that look nothing like a man, but still get called <clears throat> men. Mm-hmm. That's a part of transphobia. There are lots of women who suffer from transphobia. Transphobia is calling Michelle Obama a man. That's a part of transphobia. Of, of, well, I mean, they lifted her up. I seen them lifting her up and she was flipped over and we saw like that was, it was her clothes and shit like that. And they was saying that she got a dick. Like, bro, that's a female. But I've been saying this for so long. There are women, biological women, who have been killed because someone misgendered them. Misgendering is a part of transphobia. It's a part of that. This is why when we talk about gender and sex, sex, yes, I was born male. Gender, I'm trans. Sex, yes, I was born male. Sex, Craig was born male. But Craig's gender is female. (laughs) (laughs) Ah, He was doing so well. (laughs) He was. I thought she was was really about to educate. I thought she was really about to educate right now. (laughs) Oh, she God. had to go way love uh, with that. Uh, you were doing so well. <laughs> <laughs> That's how she hit uh, you with the okie doke. Oh, Good God. job, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Oh. oh my goodness. Oh my God. I was taking this so serious. But it's the truth. I was taking this so serious. <laughs> <laughs> I, was taking, I was taking it so serious. I was sh- I was over here shaking my head. I was like, yeah. But he is a feminine. He is a blouse. He's a feminine top. <laughs> oh. Oh, my oh God. Goodness. So I beg you, I beg for you guys to stop the misgendering. To stop it. <laughs> I beg y'all, I, I I truly get on my hands, knees, toenails, and I beg, beg you guys to stop the misgendering because the misgendering trickles down. Right when a lot of you people think that y'all being messy to the girls, it trickles right back into the community. So I beg you, it doesn't hurt anything or anybody to say she, her, and hers to those that it applies to. It don't. Nobody's telling you to go out there and start going against your beliefs, your religious practices and all this stuff. Cause a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys love to put that on your religious beliefs, religious beliefs. And it's okay for you to believe what you, but it's also the misgendering has to stop. Yeah. And that also goes for the, for the, for the, for the, for the gay boys because the gay boys love to misgender us too. They love to misgender us. Mm-hmm. Listen, Meg the Stallion has been called a man. Sierra. I've seen women do this. Sierra was another one. I've seen regular ass Kaya call motherfucking Meg the Stallion Marcus. I've seen her do this. Oh, for real? Oh, yes. That's mm. that's her name for her. And call her the job of the hood. I've seen her do this. <sighs> I've seen it because the woman is tall or she's heavy. Hell, myself has been a part of transphobia. 
I've sat on here and called Wendy Wendell <laughs> Bartholomew Orenthal Rufus Clyde Theodos Pookie Eldover Jay's in the Giant Peach Hezekiah Walker Williams the third, the third. <laughs> <laughs> senior. <laughs> I have been a part of the of of, of transphobia, and then all of us have have been a part of of being transphobic too. And transphobia affects biological women as well as transgender women. Great, any input? No, I, I, that says it all. That says it all. We got to stop it. This girl is going through it. And even during that time, the, the Jess Hilarious and T.S. Madison debacle, even going through that, my explanation to it, it's been proven time and time again. When Deficit K decided to bring her motherfucking curious George looking ass over into the conversation and become and, and, and let her transphobia blow out. Because this is the way this bitch felt that she wanted to come at me any motherfucking way. And so she used that as a catalyst to do it. Because being that bitch ain't never had no pressure. But the bitch used that lever and leveraged that as a way to come in and be like, oh, here we go. Let me do this. Even in the jest thing, I didn't say anything wrong when I said that there are women who get there are biological women who get mistaken for transgender women and they are angry about that and we have biolog this biological woman who is in tears about this i didn't say anything that was not true in tears And for everybody that jumped up windmilling against me and talking about, oh, that I was saying something against women, I pointed out the facts. These were facts. Play it again, Craig. I mean, Myrtle. <laughs> Play it again, Myrtle. Hey, Myrtle girl. <laughs> well, like this week, they tried to call me a man all week, said I had a dick all fucking week. Like, I'm not a whole mother. That shit hurt. And then they go to fucking leave me off of this billboard. They go to leave me off of the fucking billboard. And my billboard, the way God works about me, my timing. God put my billboard right after that. I'm really glad I wasn't house C. Fuck house A and house B. I'm house C. That terrorized that girl. Her being called a man, that terrorized her. That terrorized her as a, as a what? You don't think? That terrorized her. Every time I say some stuff, my point comes to be proven time and time again. Every single motherfucking time. Time Time, time again. All I do is sit back and wait. You don't think that real women, biological women, feel some type of way? I didn't say anything against or uh, wrong. Ask the women. You don't think they feel some type of way because some man or some woman has called them a man? Has called them a man? Are you kidding me? Do you not know the dangers that that puts all women in? Mo, did you get that clip I sent you from that woman talking about her experience? I sent it to you. I'd like for you to put that in there. Okay. Well, I'd like for you to get that and put that in there because it's important that I actually I'm gonna I'm going to play the video. It was on Hope's page, but I'm gonna play the video from a woman who shared her experience. And I I'm, I said I was going to post this because we need to have these conversations actually, instead of vilifying me I and making you. me the enemy, like they love to do. This one right here. Yes. That I was a trans woman. I am really tall. 
wear heels. So if you see me on public, I'm usually like six three, six four with my shoes on. I'm also really flat chested. So I think maybe that combination of things is why that mistake has been made. And I live in a gigantic city. I'm always in queer spaces, queer bars. So it kind of makes sense, right? Why people think that. But on each of these occasions, a man has approached me intending to hit on me. And we'll reveal later in the conversation, like, oh, you know what? Actually, when I approached you, I thought you were a trans woman until I heard your voice. And then they will go on a rampage about how much they hate trans women and how deceitful it is and blah, 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 all this shit, which is interesting because I'm like, my guy, you came up to me wanting to hit on me. That was your you opening line there, before I opened my mouth so was, oh, do you mind to drink? Or, oh, you're so beautiful, or whatever. And now that you find that I'm a cis woman, you're going on this rampage about how you hate trans women. Let's play it. I was a trans woman when you approached me. And obviously that hatred is internalized, right? Like they're upset with themselves that they're- Let's play it, Mo. Let's play it here. We got it in here. Twice in my life, I've had a man come up to me and approach me thinking that I was a trans woman. I am really tall and I always wear heels. So if you see me on public, I'm usually like 6'3", six, 6'4", six, with my shoes on. I'm also really flat chested. So I think maybe that combination of things is why that mistake has been made. And I live in a gigantic city. I'm always in queer spaces, queer bars. So it kind of makes sense, right? Why people would think that. But on each of these occasions, the man has approached me intending to hit on me and will reveal later in the conversation like, oh, you know what? Actually, when I approached you, I thought you were a trans woman until I heard your voice. And then they will go on a rampage about how much they hate trans women and how deceitful it is and blah, 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 all this shit, which is interesting because I'm like, my guy, you came up to me wanting to hit on me. That was your opening line before I opened my mouth was, oh, do you want a drink? Or, oh, you're so beautiful, whatever. And now that you found out that I'm a cis woman, you're going on this rampage about how you hate trans women, but you thought I was a trans woman when you approached me. And obviously that hatred is internalized, right? Like they're upset with themselves that they're attracted to this. And so they have to project it onto trans women. But it scares me for trans women, the people attracted them are people who want to incite violence toward them. Okay, so before we dissect that, let me dissect Beverly Johnson, Beverly Robinson. Robinson. Beverly Robinson, leave my page. Leave my page from Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Don't you ever tell me to stop speaking on women because there's so many other things that I can say. I speak on everything. I talked about the color motherfucking purple, bitch. I talked about <laughs> movies. I talked about Aquaman. Movies starring women. Shows starring women. News starring women. How the fuck do you sound telling me to stop speaking on motherfucking women? How the fuck do you even sound? Stop being offended. Because I'm a trans woman that has an opinion about things that are going on in the world. I talk about women, men, and everything in the motherfucking tween, in between. Step your pussy up and get out of your deep fucking feelings about me having an opinion about everything that goes on in the world. You are not above being spoken on because you are a motherfucking woman. If I read trannies, punks, bull daggers, and everything in fucking between, what the fuck make you think that I'm not going to speak on, on no woman? What the fuck make you think that? That you are above being spoken on? Especially since I didn't say anything derogatory about any woman. Suck my dick. You go over there to them other pussy ass motherfucking hoes page with that bullshit and you get in that, in that group of bitches that be dragging me and y'all drag together. Don't come on my shit with that telling me what not to fucking speak on, bitch, when there's there's women in, in media and every fucking place else, bitch. What the fuck make you think? You think because I'm a fucking tranny bitch that I don't supposed to say anything about no fucking woman, bitch? What gave you the superiority complex to feel as if I can't speak on anything involving women? Kiss my motherfucking ass. That's you bitches' problem. <laughs> and take your Beverly Johnson wig wearing ass over there, bitch, to up under that motherfucking monkey bitch page. And y'all have y'all conversations about me over there. But bitch, over here, we gonna talk about whatever is in the fucking news. Whether it's a tranny bitch, a dyke, a fag, a motherfucking preacher, or bitch, anything in between. Your pussy don't give you no privilege for you me not to say nothing about what the fuck going on.